Alright, hello everybody. This is Starman, and welcome back to Let's Play Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. Well, we have played through all three pathways to get to this point. The door to Atlantis. And now we're ready to begin the final third or so of the game. So let's go ahead and get to it. Now you'll note immediately we have a bit of a maze and there are Nazi soldiers randomly wandering around it. Now, interesting thing about the maze is that while it does have the same physical layout each time you play, the actual layout of the rooms inside, where you see we have the question marks, will be completely different each time you play it. And we can confront the Nazi soldiers, but I don't feel like doing that just yet. And it's going to be a race to see if we can get to this point. Well, maybe not. He'll stop before we get that far. But there is one thing we do have to do on the outer, outermost ring before going any further in. Well, actually, we can come back and do this, but this is faster. But yes, anyway, as I said, uh, you see how we have all these different little areas that are marked off with question marks. Well, the actual physical layout, as I said, how the maze looks remains the same, but what rooms are located at what point is for the most part different each time you play through this, with some exceptions. One of the exceptions being this subway car from some poor fellow who chose poorly. Uh, this will always be here on the outer ring. I guess this really was the end of the line. But there is one useful thing we can take from him. I can't move it. Yeah, it won't let us push it. Now, yeah, this might be useful. It's a cage of ribs, more or less intact. Now, why on earth do we need to take some poor schmo's rib cage, you might be wondering. Well, the method to my madness I can't reach it. will become clear in a moment. Because the first part of this requires us to explore the whole of the outer ring and basically grab everything we can get our hands on. And might as well re-enter here. And you'll see that we have a cup over here. It sure is ugly. It's a cup. Too bad I can't reach it. And that reminds me there is something I did fail to do and Sometimes the Nazi guards will disappear based on where you enter and re-enter. I think this will take me into, yeah, the sealed inner area where there is one more special room. This must have been part of some ancient machine. What a mess. And that will give us one piece of machinery that we will doubtlessly need at some point. And that is all we can get from this collapsed inner area. So I don't think we'll need to come back this way. I could easily confront the Nazi, and there's a couple of ways of dealing with them, but I'd like to avoid that for the moment, because this will let us get this whole room cleared. And yeah, nothing in that cubby. And 
then, good news, we found the prison block. Bad news, we can't actually do anything from this particular vent. But at least we know Sophia is alive for the moment, and since we kind of generated one of the weird places where the guard won't show up, we can go ahead and sprint our way over here. Aha! Uh -huh. Now this is one of the very useful rooms, but we can't quite make use of it yet. As you see, we've got some kind of gigantic machine here. It's a bronze wheel. Hmm, looks like something's missing. But it's currently missing a part, and we need a few more things to make it work. But what this room does is allows us to make fresh ore calcum. And we are going to need a few beats of it to get through the city. And here's another room with a grate to crawl through. And hey, this looks familiar. It looks just like that eel statue in Iceland. This one puts us in a slightly more advantageous position, and why is that, you ask? Well, it'll take our last speed, but this will totally be worth it. Note the particular gear that stumbled out of the statue when it broke. And yes, you can eventually get around to the cell block and fight the guard one-on-one, -on -one, but this is number one of the fights that is incredibly difficult and honestly best avoided. And this room is empty, apart from the spooky-looking lamp. Alright. And an empty room. I believe that's it for this corner, but there is one thing I forgot to grab on my way out of the airlock. And yep, that's all the rooms in the Northwest Quadrant. And okay, uh, good thing I had to come back anyway, because I completely forgot these two rooms here. Oh, that didn't warrant the fanfare. If I were using the whip to cross the chasm, that would totally warrant it. But we now have a stone cup, and... Might as well take the ladder with us, even though I don't think we're going to need it for anything else at this point. And bonus, re-entering the maze from here made the Nazi guard disappear, so we can go ahead and run to this room hither. The 
this leads us to another part of the maze. In fact, this leads us to some place in the southwest quadrant. We'll keep that in mind, but I don't want to go exploring there just yet when we've got one more room in the northeast to look at. Looks like more parts, including a bronze gear that looks somewhat familiar. You'd think the Atlanteans wouldn't be such slobs. Well, to be fair, they did have to get out in a hurry after the fire sale. And yep, I do believe that's the last of the parts we need here. And this one takes us back into a different part of the Southwest. It looks very, very hot. Now this is where we will gather the materials for our orichalcum, but there's one thing we have to get first. And funny, we've got two secret passages that go there and there. I don't think there's any way to avoid it, so we might as well... You must be Indiana Jones. Looks like your adventure is over. We'll see about that. Wait till Nurab Sal hears about this. I'd better get him up to date. Run, you coward! Yeah, now you can run from the Nazi fights. Or you can slug it out. And here we have a room with several small crabs. This must be Crab Central. Now you might be wondering... What on earth could we possibly do with a crab? Because it's pretty obvious. It worked. We need to trap one, so... I hope this catches crabs. Yeah, the one time you want to catch crabs. So we now have a trapped crab in a ribcage. Okay, so we've got that. We've now got one other room. And this one... As a statue. Whose head we can remove? If you think I'm gonna make a joke about getting head, eh, too easy. And what the heck, let's Jones, Jones, you'll never learn. Don't you know when to quit? And yeah, we got options, let's but this over let's get this over with. My thought exactly. Give up, Jones. There's no escape. Well, I was just trying to back up a little bit, but... And he just goes back patrolling, but... Now that we have that statue head, we can use the cup with the pedestal here. Use the statue head with the plaque here. Aha. Uh -huh. And we now have a cup full of lava. Which means we can now dash over this way. And make our way back to the machine room. And okay, this time I will go ahead and punch out the Nazi. Dr. Jones, is it? Now we've got you. We'll see about that. Let's get this over with. My thought exactly. Hmm. Looks like he's got some rations. And yes, if you're playing the Fist Path and never got on the submarine to make it's yourself a submarine sandwich, uh, you can use the sausage instead of the sandwich for your crab trap. Unfortunately, beating up the Nazi guards uh, is only a temporary stopgap. 
eventually they will respawn in the area where you knock them out. But if you're a man of action, I don't think that'll work. If you're a man of action, I don't think that'll work. That's not likely to work, or not likely well, to bother you. Okay, so we got that. Now we use the lava-filled cup with the funnel up at the top. Jackpot. Well, well, Aura Calcum beads. I've got a lot of beads. Yeah, but we could use a lot more beads, so. chance again. Too bad you didn't leave when you had the chance. We'll see about that. Because I think I've got the chance I think I should find Sophia. to leave now. Come back and fight like a man. And he'll just go back on patrol the other way, so you know, unless you need the rations, you really don't need to fight the Nazis. Unless you're trying to get all the points and have all the fun, which... You know, I can't fault you. Punching Nazis is always a good time and a good thing. Aha. Okay, so that does give us all of the Southwest Quadrant cleared. And after this, we should have more of an enough Orcalcum beads for the rest of the game. Thankfully, you do always have the option to come back and make more. Uh, for as long as all the parts of the game requiring you to use Orcalcum are around, which is a nice touch. Calcum beads. This looks okay to me. And we can go ahead and take the wheel with us. I have a handful of beads. Well, it's a bit more of a handful, I thought, but... I have a handful of beads. that just leaves us needing to explore the southeast section. Which has the least rooms to explore. Actually, I think it just has this one, which is 
purely decorative this time around. And everything else is behind this little section right here. And you'll note that this area appears to be flooded, but thankfully we have just the tool to deal with that. Hey, it's getting hot. It's all that's left of the eel statue. I don't need a worthless heap of slag. Alright, so with that done... Now this Doug does beg the question, once you see what's here, because this is one of the rooms that's set, uh, how the heck did they get in here to lock Sophia up? It's some kind of machine part. Once it was a priceless artifact, now it's a pile of... Not much left of him. Sophia? Yes? I just crawled through a mile of mud for you. It was a picnic compared to life in this cell. Are you alright? I'll feel a lot better once you open this cell. Did you miss me? Put it this way, even your company beats this cell. Alright. Now, as for opening this cage, well, it's actually pretty straightforward. Are you sure this is safe? Hurry up! And let you drop this bronze door on me? I can't hold this up much longer. <laughs> Okay, unfortunately, Sophia will not try and crawl under the door until you find something that you can use to brace it. And the ladder is not going to be enough for that job, so... Comedically enough, we have to go on without her for the moment. Although, you can leave her behind and finish the game without her. You just don't get as many indie points because, you know, of course Indy will find a way to save the woman. Jones! Don't you dare leave me here, you... you troglodyte! And it does change the ending of the game to, uh, not save Sophia. In fact, you specifically have Indy stop at one point and say, I should probably go back and try and find Sophia before I go any further. Because it will change the ending. And I will show you both endings, but, uh, we'll get to that in a moment. Because right now we've got... A uh, rather nasty undersea creature to deal with. And the octopus here is a creature of very exacting taste. So you can try and. I don't think that'll work. Yeah, for some weird reason, you can't just throw him a brat verse, you can't throw him your sandwich. This is why we trapped a crab. And thus pacified. <laughs> We can now go swim across... I can't board it from here. I said we can swim across... I can't board it from here. We can swim across the canal to get to the crab-like raft. Which again will take another or cow can be to power it. I don't think that'll work. There we go, crab mouth. Whoa! This thing's got a motor. So now we can start exploring the canal, but I think we will go ahead, stop this chapter here, and next time we'll continue on into the middle part of Atlantis. See you then.